boy, The Life of Brian to Legally Blind, and this is story time. Um, story time of this, uh, as you look at the, uh, the message, uh, the text, um, the saying, thank you to my mom for basically saving my life uh, as I was young. Because um, I was fighting with depression when I was younger, I was fighting with uh, depression for a long time when I was young. Um, when I was like 13, 13 years old, um, depression started sitting in with me. And um, I guess trying to figure out who I was and uh, where do I fit in and how can I use my talents and stuff. and. For that, you know I mean, just finding out who I am, and like I knew I had wonderful love around me from like my grandma, and my sister, um, my mom, and stuff, and everybody around me. I know I had love, but it was like deep down inside of me, I just really couldn't understand who I was at that time, and like I struggled with that um, when I was um, 13 and coming on up, so. Um, when it goes into the story about thank you mom for saving my life is when it was one night um, I was in a real real bad depression like I mean low 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 um, depression and it, it hit me hard and I was like 14 15 and I was like man forget life and that, I remember those words I said I said forget life and I was like I just they said I know it um, I just I had grabbed a knife out of the kitchen and I just went upstairs I went upstairs but my mom she caught me uh, before I even um, went upstairs when I was 13, 14. Um, she caught me, um, going up the stairs with a knife. And at that time, it was like, it was just, at that time, I was just, I was at that age, I was just sick of life. I didn't know who I was and I didn't understand who I was. I didn't know where I belonged at. And, uh, I, I really thank God for my mom. Um, I really thank my mom because if I would have hurt myself, I wouldn't be the man I am today. And like, my mom saving my life at that moment. And as I look at my life now, um, I went the positive side of, my, of the story is that my mom saved my life. Um, I gave my life to Christ when I was 16. Um, that was when my grandma um, had brought us to church, and she helped us to understand who who God was. And after that, my life changed. Um, yeah, I had like little hiccups of uh, doing that journey of trying to learn how to walk that path of a child of God and but at the end of the day I'm thankful for my mom for taking that knife out of my hand so that way I'll be here today doing this you know what I mean um, just to encourage people and to um, to help people to not give up because uh, when I when I turned 16 I found out when I had macular degeneration, and that brought more depression um, over my life. Cause what macular degeneration does is deteriorates your center your your center vision and your peripheral is okay, but it stops you from driving and um, trying to to read. Um, Cause I had to use a magnifier. So I think I thank God um, that. At that moment, the, uh, my mom uh, took that took that away from me, uh, that knife away from me, 
because that, that night was a very dark moment um, in my life when I was 13, 14 years old and, and the positive thing is that I'm still here and I have a beautiful daughter that's three. Um, I got my associate's degree in human services because um, I graduated um, from Piedmont Tech Technical College in 2019. You know, uh, and I, I graduated from high school in 2007. And like doing like these videos and just showing people my life and hopefully just to encourage somebody. Cause I really enjoy doing this. Um, I would love for this to be a job for me cause um, I really enjoyed this. I really, really enjoyed doing this. Um, it's not stressful my eyesight. I be up like hours editing um, my own videos. Cause I use two different um, editors. So I take my time and everything. So from the negative side when I was 13, 14 and now, then on the positive side, I made it through to all that, and and I'm 32. I'm 32 now, and every now and then um, I struggle with um, depression. Every now and then, um, but at the end of the day, I know I know who I am, and I have things to fight for, and things to continue you know what I mean because when we feel like we don't have stuff to continue in life then that's when we feel like life is over and life is not over life is not over not for you or me as we continue to find out who we are and find out you know what I mean the the things that we can continue to build our skills and, and continue to um, gravitate to. And at the end of the day, it's it's not gonna be easy. Get your, put your butt down, dude. <laughs> at the end of the day, it's, it's never gonna be easy of what we're going through and trying to build our talents and, and um, continue to do like you know what I mean continue with life it's not it's not easy but if you are fighting with depression um, if you isolating yourself or you're not um, you just not wanting to do nothing please talk to somebody please talk to somebody um because at that at that time I, I didn't really talk to nobody um, when I was younger about um, depression. At that age, I didn't know what depression was um, when I was young. Um, I didn't know what that was. So I was just not knowing what I was feeling, you know what I mean? To go to that route when I was younger of taking a knife and just wanting to end it. But I thank God for my mom for grabbing that knife and this is a true story this is a true story and this is a true story about when i was younger it's a now so i hope this encourages you to to not give up because i i struggle with it with depression and i struggle with it a little bit but not as much of, I get real, real low. You know what I mean? It's, it's at a point that, <coughs> it's at a point that I look at things differently. Um, but I, at, at the end of the day, I'm, I'm thankful um, for what, like, who I have become. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, you're amazing. I'm amazing. And 
we can fight through depression. As we continue to build our confidence better. Because when I was younger, I struggled with having confidence in myself. I struggled with that a lot when I was younger. Because having a big tongue and um, words, you tripping over words and people not understanding you um, when you're talking. And it was very frustrating when I was younger. Um, it was very frustrating. But as I got older and having more confidence in myself and having better communication skills and how to interact with people, um, I came a long way. I mean, we all got something that we have struggled with and we end up traveling back to the past trying to put the pieces together and all the and different things and I feel like at the end of the day the things that we have struggled with we have to first learn to forgive ourselves because that's what we that's what we we struggle with of learning how to forgive ourselves of what we have done or done to somebody else and we have a hard time with that because I have a hard time with that on certain subjects and different things that occurred in my life that I have a hard time learning how to forgive myself for and I'm, I'm very thankful um, I attend um, I've been attending like these revelation classes um, it's like the, the Christian groups that I have been attending so I have been attending like classes like the revelation class where you learn about um, different things about God and I attend Baba study now um, um, uh, I, I attend Baba study um, Tuesdays we have like prayer um, in the mornings on Tuesdays um, cause I go to Calvary um, similes of God in Greensboro, North Carolina cause I go to that church and uh, what else I go to uh, I play pickleball with some wonderful people pickleball is so fun you know, y'all gotta definitely check out pickleball definitely go check out pickleball go play it, it's so much fun um, but back to um, let's see I attend classes like Bob study uh, revelation class um, pickleball group um, what else I attend um, oh my brain just went fried cause I haven't um, I can't remember the, the last one I do but out of those things um, it definitely helped me um to not think about so much things that's going on because I know like you can't it ain't good to like try to run away from your issues because it's good to 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 fight through it and talk to somebody about it you know what I mean because when we try to do it on our own this is a struggle because when we we take a car for existence and we just going, just driving, trying to forget about what's going on in the, in the rear and not going through it. Eventually, our four tires are gonna eventually go flat. Then we have no choice to just to deal with the problem so we can get back moving forward. So, I repeat that again. So, if we just continuing to just drive on, just drive, just flooring it on the gas, trying to run away from the problem, eventually those tires are going to go flat. And we're going to be at a standstill, and all that pressure from behind is going to catch up. And it's just going to hit us and hit us hard. 
and we're going to feel like we're alone and we're going to feel like we're nothing, we're not worthy and can't move on because we sit here with these flat tires and no tools to fix those tires and we feel like and we, if we're feeling like we don't have the tools to help us to get moving forward it's okay to do some research it's okay to get get out of our pride to go get help because if we continue to stay in our pride feeling like oh man I'm okay because I was that of uh, saying I'm okay and I wasn't and when we f we if we continue to say that we okay we okay and we're not okay we know it deep inside that we're not okay but when we get out of our pride to open up like bringing down that wall so that we can let it go so we can get, go like go through it to get help to talk to somebody because you you are so amazing and you're too amazing to be in that depression and feel like you're not worthy of doing stuff in life or just standing at a standstill, sitting on the couch, trying to figure out what's the next move to do. Like, please talk to somebody of how you feeling, somebody that, you know what I mean, you can trust to vent to. So, I mean, these days, I mean, I understand that we don't have too many people that, you know what I mean, we can vent to, to understand, like, our heart to heart, you know what I mean? Because not everybody can handle what's on somebody else's heart. And and it's not easy to find people that will listen. That will be heart to heart to talk about it. To sit down and just not to be fighting with judge and ju judgment, judgment. But to be fight to be just be discussion, discussing, excuse me. To be discussing with love and love from from each heart and that's where we need to get to the point that we be open and vent to each other and our hearts be connecting with love and love and to help each other to so that way we don't wake up in the morning and be like man yo let me go check on such and such oh man what what just happened and that's, I mean, we don't want to, we don't need to continue to hear that of a teenager taking their life. We don't need to, or an adult taking their life or an elder taking their life anymore. Like, please go talk to somebody. Because if I would have took my life when I was 13, 14, I wouldn't be telling you in this video. Of sharing my heart or just just putting it out there you know what I mean to help somebody like definitely go talk to somebody join some groups um, that you feel comfortable you know what I mean feel comfortable with do your research and it's okay to to talk to somebody um, so that way you can get it out so you can know that you got the tools to pump back those tires so you can move on to a path that, that's going to be positive, that's going to bring insurance, it's going to bring a recharge of your battery and to, to keep going and, and seeing the beauty of your life up ahead, up ahead. because even though what we're going through in life now, we still have, we still got something special up ahead, but it's just not time yet for where it's going to happen right then and there. Cause we have to gradually work towards that, 
that what's coming. Cause it's not going it's always on it's not on our time, it's on God's time. And I hope this encouraged you. Um just sharing a uh, a deep part of my life from the negative on how that I moved to the positive. And yeah, I still struggle with um, depression a little bit. I still struggle with it a little bit. And definitely just, definitely go, please go get some, talk to somebody and get some help. You're too amazing to sit there with the gun in your hand. You're too amazing to sit there with a knife in your hand. You're too amazing to sit there with pills in your hand. Please go get some help. You are too amazing to give up now. You're too amazing to, to be sitting there with that stuff in your hand. You're too amazing. That's not you. It's not a part of you. And that knife wasn't a part of me. And I really appreciate my mom for taking that knife out of my hand. Because I wouldn't be here. Because I was at the low of low. So, so I love you. Definitely keep your head up. You're too amazing. Talk to you later.